Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack. At long last, starting a Let's Play of Metabots GBA. Now, I put up two different polls to determine which version we'd be doing. The Twitter poll was split exactly 50-50, but the YouTube poll determined we would be doing Metabi Edition. Which is fine. I have played both, and I like both, so I wasn't really too hung up on one or the other either way. Yeah, you think I would have thought to do this a long time ago? But after the really strong reception to the Metanauts video not too long ago, it really only seemed like it was logical. So we're gonna get into it. Um... Yeah, all those options look fine. Start a new game. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't even remember if I had a save file on here or not. Good afternoon! Good afternoon. Did you come by to see Dr. Aki again? Yep. Well, then you should go check his office all the way in the back. Okay, thanks a lot. Now, weirdly enough, there is a button to run, but it's confirmed. <laughs> Most games would have used B, but this uses A. Going. Excuse me. I told this room is off limits, kid. You didn't tell me anything. You just knocked me over. Oh, he needs us to hit me again. <laughs> okay. It just hit me for its own sake. Good afternoon, Dr. Aki. Hello, oh, it's you. You hear me quite a lot. Don't you know I'm always busy? Um, Dr. Aki, you always forget my name. I'm... No, I am not Icky. And as we'll soon see, the Icky of the games and Icky of the anime are very different characters. Of course, you're Snek. But I'm busy, so I can't spend too much time with you. I want to learn more about Metabots. Okay, okay, if you really mean that, then you best to go visit my granddaughter Naya's research room. Your granddaughter? Your granddaughter Naya has been helping me ever since she was little. She knows almost as much about as I do about Metabots. Really? Yay! Okay, well, I guess I'll be going. Is this where I go in now? It's been a while since I played this game. It has hit me as many times as this room. There's a very important research in progress here. Where does the proper clearance are? What's going on here? Oh, my apologies, Miss Nay. <laughs> That's quite a creepy grin you got there. This guy's trying to get into the room without permission, so I was just... I... Pleased to meet you. My name is Nay. What's your name? Pleased nice to meet you. My name is Snack. Nay is Dr. Aki's granddaughter. She's well known throughout the Metabot world as the authority on all things related to Metabots. That's amazing! Let's try the formality, shall we? So, do you like Metabots? Yep. Not bad. Do you want to come see my research lab? What? Are you sure it's okay? Miss Nay, surely you can't be serious about showing such important research to a kid. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I really don't mind. Shall we go, Snake? Okay. So much for proper clearance, huh? Four Metabots over there are the new Elemental series we're developing now. Elemental series? I've never heard of that before on Metabots Weekly. Actually, it's still a secret. Holy meta, roly! <laughs> that is such a terrible catchphrase. I get to see them for any everyone. I'm not finished with them yet, so they aren't fully functional. You can go see them for yourself. This is one massive looking Metabot. That's Earth Chrono, a tank type Metabot. And transform its meta parts to protect its allies. This metabot appears to be engulfed in flames. That's Saldron, a floater type metabot. It transforms its meta parts to attack bravely during row battles. This metabot looks like it's going to take off. That's Windsail, an air type metabot. It transforms its meta parts to lower enemy abilities. This 
no, that looks good at swimming. That's Aqua Crown, a sea type metabot. I forget which one it is, but one of these isn't a fully implemented set of parts. Like, you can only take three of them, I think. I don't know if that's a version difference or not. Someone in the comments want to correct me on that. You can transform its metaparts to help out its allies. I'm not always here, but I'll leave the room open so you can come in whenever you want. Okay. You're just gonna trust some random kid that you just met. Cool, it's a bat metal. Where you can battle with meta parts that target air type metabots. Chameleon metal is sweet. It's very compatible with meta parts that hinder an enemy's attack. That rabbit metal is cute. Very compatible with meta parts that control metabot speed. Kappa metal is shiny. Very compatible with meta parts that target seed type metabots. That mouse metal is cool. Very compatible with meta parts that assist an allies attack. Monkey metal is captivating. Very can battle with metaparts that confuse metabots. And yes, these rooms will become important again later. But we're done here for now. So I'm just gonna see myself out of this very important building that has no security whatsoever. Oh no, look at the time. Better hurry up and get home. Metabots Weekly is gonna start. And our house is this one. This is my house. I'm home. Where did you go? You always just disappear on me. Later, I gotta run. Hold on. Arf, arf. Hi, Salty, I'm home. Aw oh, man, I gotta hurry and turn on the TV before it comes on. It's TV time. Phew. I made it just in the nick of time. Hi, everybody! What time is it? Time for Metabots Weekly! What's for this week, huh? huh? Let's calm down. This week is how to assemble a Metabot. Hmm, the way they put us together. Yes, okay, experts and first timers, let's learn together. Here we go, go, go! Missing here is the Metabot Skeleton, also known as a Tin Pet. Let's attach some Meta Parts to him. For the head will use Missile. It's powerful and cool. The right arm will use the Revolver. It may not be rapid fire, but still cool. The left arm will use Submachine Gun. The rapid fire madness. The legs will use Ochitsuka. A great combo with firing weapons. And the finishing touch. Robots need metals to move around. That's why they're called metabots. That kind of goes without saying, right? See you next time for Metabots Weekly. We're already finished. Bye for now, everyone. See you next week. So great. Go oh, ahead, a metabot of my own. Arf, arf. You think so too, Salty? What? Mom! If you got time to sit and watch TV, then you got time to go down to the Hot Mart and pick up some spice for tonight's dinner. Eh... Do you have a problem? Okay, okay. But now I'm gonna change, here's a $50 bill. That's... <laughs> Even if I got a double helping, that would be way too much. Alright, I'm off. You should never trust kids to, like, be responsible with any number, level of money. Being like, oh, only spend X amount is never gonna fly. Idiotic fool. Why in the world did you buy such expensive meta parts without any permission? Just what are you gonna do with them? Well, I mean, well, I said, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I wonder what I should do with them. If you wanna keep your job, you better figure it out. That boss can be such a jerk sometimes. Why are you in charge of store inventory? Sorry, we're still preparing. Pudding and yogurt. So that's like the dairy section. Cookies, cakes, and chocolates. Comic books and magazines. Bread and 
and sandwiches. This is a very limited selection. I don't see Spiceroni anywhere. What are you doing? This is Metafighters Network. You're about all the heal by linking with them, but it's not ready yet. Sorry, uh, that wouldn't be happening anyway. Fire extinguisher. Excuse me. Can I help you with Metabot? I have a great one for you. No, I need Spiceroni. Now sweet deal on a totally awesome Kabuto model here. Your friends definitely won't have this. You'll be the coolest kid in town. Um, I... How much you have? 50? Perfect. That'd be a great deal. A whole set for 49.80. Okay, all set. Let me throw in a tin pet. A head part missile, revolver, submachine gun, Lonchitsuka. Male tin pet. Use 49.80. Now you're a meta fighter. What's your name anyway? My name's Henry. What's yours? I'm Snack, but. Snack, huh? It's a great name for a meta fighter, don't you think? Now you're all ready to make your big debut in the real battle world. You just bullied a 10-year-old kid, Henry. I'm just saying. Not cool, dude. Alas, we have to do this. I've decided on that boy. Is that okay, Professor? Henry seems to be the better to beg forgiveness than ask permission personality type. This is actually one plot point I don't like, and you're about to see why. Where's the Spiceroni, Snick? Um, uh... What's that box you have there? This, that's... I can't believe you did this. You don't mean that you bought a toy with our dinner money. I did. Don't think about it in your room. Okay. She was really mad. Arf, arf. Sigh. Are you gonna cheer me up, Salty? Oof. Maybe he's stuck here, but I should at least open the box, which is literally the last thing you should be doing in this context. The store will take back unopened merchandise. You could easily make the situation right and, you know, tell Henry to stuff it. Uh, another thing to bear in mind is, in the game, you just got done purchasing a brand new KBT model that's, like, hot stuff off the presses. In the anime, it's literally the opposite. He was buying an antique set that nobody wanted because it was so out of date. It turns Icky from an underdog just kind of a little prick. Like, I don't have a nicer way of saying it. Like, you could so easily make this right to your mother, but you're choosing not to. And I know it's a gameplay and mechanical consideration as well, but, like, holy crap, this is a bad way to introduce your main character. This goes with this, and this goes... All done. Huh? It's not moving. What's wrong? Oops, I forgot the most important part. Arf, arf. Wah! What? Who are you? If you want money, I'm broke. Do not fear. It is I, the Phantom Renegade. I've come to bring you a present. Phantom who? Wah! It doesn't matter. Take this medal. Give this to your child. Present this to your boy. Put this near his pillow while he is asleep. Any way you want, just give it to him. Farewell. What was that all about? A fair question at this point. A moment, Snack. Uh, is that a Metabot? Dad, this is the reason why your mother's all been out of shape? Yeah. Let me see. There's no metal inside there. He can't move without a metal. It's called a Metabot because of the metals, you know. See, we put the metal in just like this. Ta-da! Whoa, it moved! Thanks you to have a metal watch to command your metabot. Here, look what Daddy got you. Wow, thanks a lot, Dad. <laughs> Looks like you're all better now. That's just enabler behavior. Got the Kabuto metal. Oh yeah, this guy does need a name. I can't just name him Metabi. Like, this is very obviously not the Icky and Metabi of the anime. Especially as the metabots don't really have any discernible personality in this game. Let's see, how about... Hmm. You know what? We'll call him... Tendo. 
as in Tendo Soji, or the civilian identity of common writer Kabuto. I was tempted to name him Koji Kabuto, but that would get really confusing since there is a Koji in Metabots already. Now on, if I press the B button, I can open the menu. We can! And we now look at all the Metabots and parts that we have, which right now is just Tendo. We have a maximum of nine Metabots total. Some of these factors will change. Uh, there are certain ways of getting certain different tin pets as the game goes on, is really what I'm trying to say. But we don't need to worry about that right in a second. Your father always spoils you, Snack. You go to listen to your mother. Yeah, you don't. But there are ways of making money in this game. Money is not a plot item. It's a closed toolbox. Everything else is comic books. Well, I guess we're just good to go, then. There's a way to make money. So, like, there should be a way that you can pay back your mother, but the game literally never lets you do it. Rika, you brought a camera? I need one if I'm going to become a reporter. What about you, Snack? You got a meta watch, don't ya? Have you row-battled yet? Sorta. Yeah, you might say that. Could it be that you haven't started the row-battle yet? If that's the case, I'll be your first opponent. Hold on, Arika, I'm not ready for... I know. You don't want to lose any meta parts, right? The row-battles are just for fun, so win or lose, nobody will have to give up anything, okay? And there's no reason not to do it, right? Let's do it. I've been robot in longer than you. So, I guess it's a good time now to go over some basics. The robot field tells us the terrain that we're in, and then you get to see the line of metabots, one to three. Eventually, all battles will be 3v3. Now, planes, I believe, have no significant impact on leg type, but there are certain areas where some legs are more compatible than others. So we're just going to use our one metabot that we have available to us. And we're going to start. We can choose to use our meta parts, charge our meta force, look at our status. Aim, I forget how this works, if it works at all. Oh, right, it's a uh, strike only. So a thing I said when I was doing my review of the game it was slightly incorrect. You see how her brass's legs are pulsing right now? That means if I attack with this meta part, that's probably what I'm going to end up hitting. It feels like every attack I'm hitting is in the legs right now. This is something that only shooting parts do, but I don't know why only shooting parts tell you what they're going to hit. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about as time goes on, especially as I like to have a good mix of melee and range attacks. So, we're just going to go all in and just attack as hard as we can. Let's she raised her accuracy. So that's raised her accuracy. Alright, that's gonna slow her down. No legs is always the worst possible movement speed. Again, no reason not to dismiss her. And this should remove at least one of her arms. Ah, chain reaction. That means some of the damage spills over into the next part in sequence. Miss. It's because she does not have a right arm right now. Yeah, no, no reason not to blow her away at this point, so... We're, we're just going really hyper-aggressive right now. Oh, that was a direct head strike. And that's function cease. You lose your head, you lose the metabot. If you lose your leader, you lose no matter what. Even if you have other metabots still standing. I'm not going to lose next time. Earned experience points and leveled up. It's a great metabot you got. I won't lose next time. Oh yeah, this is an entire place for this. It's a big real battle contest going on at the school, you know. I'm gonna go on ahead, okay? See you there. I 
And now we can kind of explore around and do not much of anything, because there's just nothing happening in the town right now. More stuff will become available to us right now if we try to leave. This is Mount Odoro. It's a nearest place. You can't go there alone. Yeah, we can visit the lab, but we won't get anything for doing so. So we're just going to go to school. Hey, Rika, what's up with the robot contest? You're late. It's already over. This is the leader of the screws was the winner. We got the full control of the place. If someone thinks they can send the screws, bring it on. I have to do laundry when I get home. Do you want me to give you a chance? Okay, this is just one of those things that comes to the turf. The screws are the local gang run by Samantha, who is this girl here. And she kind of has this gravelly voice in the dub, so, like, a lot of people I know thought it was a guy. <laughs> but no, it's a girl. And her lackeys here are Spike and Sloan. Okay, I'll take it easy on you. And yeah, I know Sloan is a girl's name, but... Let's do it. What's next? Hey, cheese! When you're pointing your camera at the wrong person, we will be the winners. Sloan, go for it! I'm gonna mess your clothes up. Even though he doesn't really talk about it in the anime, in the games, Sloane is obsessed with laundry for some reason. I, I don't know, that's just like this one thing. He's very quiet most of the time. So, we're gonna rely on more or less the same kind of strategy. Totalizer, that metabot there, is very strong and relies on optics parts. And it's pretty much impossible to bypass his defenses, since he usually has leg defense Q, which will draw damage away from his head. Honestly, we just need to blow through his HP the hard time. I mean, he's a tank-type metabot, that's what you expect. Tank treads also tend to be very slow, but as you can see, they certainly have some upsides. I wonder if this will actually speed him up, <laughs> like losing his tank treads. Oh, his arm took it, took it this time. I wasn't expecting that. This could hurt. By the way, it is completely possible to get Luxact in this fight. Uh, I mentioned it in my, my review, but I didn't do a very good job of explaining. Because... Yeah, um... There's lots of things that can go wrong logistically during the fight here, and you can't grind. Once you fight Erika, that's all the experience you're going to get until you fight the Screws. Oh yeah, there's a learn by doing system, but you can't count on it too, too much. And I've had situations where Totalizer got a lucky headshot and just one-shot me. My luck is usually a little better during this fight. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm probably gonna lose now. I basically have to luck out and break the arm that he's got to fire with if I'm gonna Oh, that was worse than useless. And the thing that happened when I first played the game was every time Peppercat hit me, I got stunned for a freakishly long span of time. So she basically just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, hitting me over and over and over again, and destroyed me without me really being able to so much as put up a fight. Uh, that's it. I just lost. Uh, the 
fight is now unwinnable, so that's a bad start. This is what I was talking about when I said the game has an L-shaped difficulty curve. And that puts us into unwinnable and therefore into a game over condition. I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Okay, let's try this again. This time, I'm going to conserve my head usage until I'm in a situation where I need to rely on it. Failing that, I always have the option of charging my metal for a switch for the Kabuto metal is quite powerful. go in ascending order in terms of defense, so legs, left arm, right arm, head. Oh, come on, I was trying to break something. And I think I can get rid of at least his legs. I'm lucky it'll chain reaction and take out an arm while we're at it. Which might be exactly what we need to do. Are you kidding me? Well, this is literally my last chance. If I can get rid of both arms, he might be okay, because he might not be using his head. That would essentially stall for the rest in order to actually not immediately die. Yep, so this is looking great. That there's just literally nothing I can do. I really hate this prologue section. Ah, he didn't even bother. He literally just you know, lucked out and killed me.
Welcome to the L-shaped difficulty curve. The kitties beat it in the weekend rental, can we? When I'm able to grind, this will not become an issue again. But I seriously hate this prologue mission. too close? I don't even know what to make of that. Level up. I close out and messed up. Thank you for taking care of Sloan. Your next spike, get him! Wrong your. I'm gonna take your useless meta parts. Oh, by the way, if you lose in any of these, you're basically starting back at the beginning because they'll talk between fights, so you don't get the chance to save. So... yeah. Uh, thankfully, Spike is probably the least dangerous of the batch, and yet he's probably the one you want to fight. His parts are the most compatible with Metabees. Luck out and get either his legs or his right arm. It could be a really big curly game power up for us. I 
Okay, good start. Time to bust out some missiles. I didn't want him inadvertently soaking it through his leg defense. Yeah, nice. By the one like that, we want to have some good progress. other arm and do a little bit of damage to his head. Oh, or that can just hit him straight in the head and we'll be done. Yeah, Cyan Dog and his uh, alternate form, Crosser Dog, both have high part synergy with none of you shooter types. Got a lot of guts to make me lose. Thanks. I believe these are actually pretty much just a straight upgrade of none of these. So we might end up using those. Level up. It wasn't fair. We had the most balanced battle, Spike. Our metabots are the most similar. How pitiful you lost against him. I'll face you next. Do you want me to play with you? No. Okay, now here's the thing. Everyone's like, uh, Snag, no, Peppercat's easy. Like, you guys don't understand how hard I got luck sacked when I first got here. Because she has a stun effect, right? Well, the stun effect seems to last a random amount of time. First time I did this fight, she just stunned me over and over again, and it held me in place like inhumanly long spans of time. And as a result, she basically just got a million free turns, and I lost. Now, I learned later that was just bad RNG, but... Like, that's the problem. Is between Totalizer and Peppercat, there's a lot of RNG to get lost in here. See, like, here, I shrug it off nearly instantly. I'm already back in the fight. Before, no, when, that, when I first got here, that didn't happen. <sighs> hate you so much. I've gone blind and deaf, and all I know is hatred. Well, that was unusually lucky for me, but I'll take it. Peppercat is also a female to Tin Pet, so her parts are actually going to be useless to us until we get a female Tin Pet. How could I have lost? That's quite a face. See, left arm. That could be useful to us. You'll see why later. How dare you make a fool of me? Amazing! We got some great shots with the row battle. I can see the headline now. Miracle victory. Miracle? Wait. Now what? Didn't we settle this fight? We were playing by kids' rules, so the win doesn't count. I'll show you something amazing using the real rules. Pepper transport. Spike, slump. Against what you're in Metabots, too. Three against one is cheating. Sorry, official rules. You better be prepared. Hold on a sec. Ba -da -da -boom. Our Metabots! What the heck is that thing? Capital Metal doesn't have the data to even do a technique like that. I'm gonna wet my pants. Wow. Thank you for making me hear that out loud. I know what you did, but I refuse to accept this loss. 
In the anime, that was the metaphor, something that only rare metals could do, or the original versions before they were mass copied. In this game, there's actually a much dumber explanation for it. So that you'll be the one doing laundry. I, I do my own laundry. You haven't seen The Last of Us. Keep running. Wasn't that amazing? What was that just now? I don't really know. Anyway, Marika, what's the headline of the school's paper gonna be? How about Awesome Metabot Appears? What do you think? I like Awesome Meta Fighter Appears. No, no, your Metabot was awesome. Not you, Snick! <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I'm gonna go start writing the article, so why don't you go looking for the robot elephants around the school? I'm gonna look around for the school for some robots. Well, first, let's have a look at our new options. So obviously, we only have the one metal. But the plus four is specifically in regards to it being a compatible type of uh, part. Because it's a shooting part, this part also gets a bonus from the metal. So, the one I really want to look at here is this one. Better armor, slightly worse propulsion, better evasion. Defense and proximity are the same. Ooh, let's give it a shot. We'll still get the bonus because they're compatible, like I said, but... For example, if I put on... Tyranno laser, I do not, because it's an optics part, not a shooting part. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding. So you guys don't have to be bored of watching me run in circles and fight the same row battles over and over again. To give you some idea, you can fight enemies here like Churly Bear, who have gravity parts. Uh, I believe there's a melee unit that has axe arms, I want to say Kintaros. And I think there's a very low chance of encountering Crosser Dog, which might get us some more shooter parts. So I'm going to jump ahead to when I have a couple levels under my belt, and we'll be back to it. Okay, now we've hit level 10. And yes, I did spend all that time just running in the schoolyard. But it's because I wanted this to happen. Kabuto Metal. It metamorphs into its next shape. And now we have a look at it. Now we have unlocked the actual Metaforce power for real this time. So that's cool. And now we have our stat breakdown. And that basically just raised shot a little bit, aim shot a bit. Right, it had points in support and defense. But yes. Now our metal is that much stronger. And we can just check on it anytime we want like this. Same idea. Now let's run around and talk to some people. I wrote that rock. Yeah. yeah, I totally did. Except for all the losing. Just, just pretend that part didn't happen. Wouldn't be a JRPG without random encounters, am I right? The thing with gravity parts is they're very strong, but they're very slow. As for what makes something shot or aim shot, I genuinely have no idea. It seems kind of an arbitrary designation. Having a little bit of extra HP on my legs has already proven to be vital. And thankfully, now that we're just higher level overall, we're just in less danger than we were before. Seeing as how the game doesn't take us too long for us to get our next tin pet, we're not going to have to worry too, too much about that, especially as once we have health, these single battles will be coming. I think it's missing time. Uh, 
Ah, it's a good thing I changed, uh, changed up my strategy because I just lost my horn. It's a good thing we restored to 100% after each fight. It can really chain two, right? Uh, that's annoying. Unless luck goes completely awry, this should be fun. Dirt it. Not bad. Tickling cute girls. I forgot how weird this game gets. You're not allowed to just enter the music room whenever you want. Well, stop me then. Study hard. Robot will hard. Ha ha. It's prohibited to bring a meta watch to school. Why? Ah! <laughs> Why are you like, getting two of them? What is this? Businessman, fight for a bright future. I'm gonna lose because you're just gonna gang up on a kid. You're a sick old man. I mean, they're slow, which is great, but so is Totalizer. So unless these guys have, like, embarrassingly low defenses. I mean, that's cool, but... It says it's gonna hit him in the head. Let's see what happens. They might just like defensive, though. Yeah. Being red all the time is pretty depressing, actually. I don't recommend it. Huh. Those shooter guns could be useful if I can actually win this. I didn't even know this guy would attack you. I don't think it's the, I even ran into this fight in the last not run of the game. My only is, like, advantage right now is that his partner is so slow. So I might be able to do something here. I can break his guns. They're slow enough that I have a little bit of time to devise a strategy, but I hope this works. Not quite as much as I was hoping it would do, so here goes. If I take out the leader, it doesn't matter that he has backup. He'll uh, still just automatically win. Good. That's a good start. Actually, been, might have been more advantageous if he lost his other gun instead. Let's see if I can't facilitate that change. I mean, yeah, he can still attack with his head, but at least if I disable his arm, I might get a free turn out of it. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. 
buddy down there is a real problem. There's no doubt about it. He seems just kind of to be an inferior version of the other one. Oh, that's not good. Having really light armor is a real problem. has to find a home, I'm gonna lose to the random salary man teacher. Here goes. It's probably do or die time now. Oof. I had to dismantle that guy. That was no joke. school to say right before they take over their students' middle watch. Are you just messing with me just to mess with me? How good is that head, anyway? It's not a shooter type? It's a heal type! That's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, finally, Crosser Dog decided to show up. How are we in the forest? We're inside the school! Crosser Dog, I think you're confused. Funny enough, in the anime, Crosser Dog was an upgrade to Cyan Dog, but in this game, it's kind of treated as the reverse, where Crosser Dog is generally inferior. That was a little bit of luck, but I'll take it. to lose this, much as it pains me to have to say those words out loud. Let's find out, I guess. some real Franken-bots, that's for sure. Yeah, Cyan Dog is better in basically all capacities. Anyway, I'm gonna jump ahead to something plot-relevant. 
one so you guys don't have to see every single one of our battles. And we're back. So the paper's headline reads, Next survives another world battle. Don't you get any place that might be used as a hideout? Yep, we're now investigating the case of the robot... <laughs> Bro battler who's using metabots to tickle girls. And for a weekend, it's next single day. Yeah, something like that. So, we're technically done here at the school and don't really need to come back if we don't wanna. Our heart. Yeek! That's salty, but who was that other voice? Is this your dog? Wow, cute. I mean, was my dog bothering you? Not at all. He suddenly came running out, and I was just surprised. Oh, is that all? Thank goodness. Um, nice to meet you. My name's Karen. Wow, Karen. Uh, I'm Snack Tenryo. Which is definitely not my name. By the way, did you see a boy from the next town over whose name was Koji? I didn't see him. Let's see, please tell me if you do see him. Okay. Well, see you later then. Salty. It's a really polite girl. I wonder if she's from the next town over. Otherwise, everyone would be talking about a cute girl like that. Anyway, now that we have the ability to engage in random real battles, we now have the ability to sell the excess parts. Which, as you see, we have a few. So I'm going to sell one of those, and four of those. And that's almost the 50 bucks my mom bought me right, and gave me right there. I usually keep one of each meta part, and there's a reason for why I'm doing such a very particular collector's run. It's all going somewhere, I assure you. But right now, we're just going to sell off the extras. And that gives us a lot of spending money. Let me look at what they have now. Mouse and a missile type? Thankfully, we can look at each of them whenever we want. I think we're actually pretty close to being able to get this one for free, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Thank you. Anyway, there's only a few places in town that could reasonably pass as a hideout. This place looks pretty shady. Oh, Erika! Snack, we've got trouble. Metafighter came from the neighboring town's Rosewood Private School and started picking fights in our own school. He's in there now. Why? Don't ask me. Hurry and come to school. Why do I have to go? Just come. Got it? Well, if our bossy childhood friend tells us to do something, I guess we're obligated. You walk so slow. Metafighter is, al is already here. Culprit's well, one of you guys, isn't it? Show yourself, you coward. How dare you talk to me? I'll challenge you, but don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Hey boss, we beat this guy at some of you real smack in the face girls with private school. I'm gonna mess up your clothes too. I'll take you all on. Time to row battle. What a scoop. This is not the 1920s, Erika. Pepper Cat. Don't take only my bad side. Boss, we're in trouble. Not about retreat. Is that all you got? What should we do, boss? I've got to wash my metabot too. Then resort to Plan B. Let's get out of here. Wait, you! Wow, he's powerful. Is this the time to be impressed? Let's go! Thankfully, where they went is pretty obvious. Where did that scum run off to? Um, he looks really ticked off. Go ahead, just do it like last time. Don't push me! Ah! 
You're with them, aren't you? I'm Koji Karakuchi. We'll battle me man to man. This time we're going down. This time, this is the first time we've met! Now, Koji's met about as you might have predicted, a Sabelladon. Honestly, he's more analogous to Rakusho than Metabi. Direct shot to the legs ought to be a good opening statement. Shot attacks. All my things are shot attacks. I don't have a choice. Well, that's not great. That'll slow him down. Never a bad idea to go, you know, taking out legs. Oof, that was lucky. We can get rid of his other arm. Might be able to punch this, no problem. Great. I've been grinding, can you tell? At this point, the submachine gun might actually do more damage. I was a little worried when that trap hit me, but this one was just fine after all. This fight isn't over yet. Straw hammer was acquired. I won. You're not bad. It was so boring, you just fought normally. Huh? I want to take a picture of that thing you did last time. Why is it that I win and you still end up complaining? Koji? Karen? Oh, you're Karen. Come on, we meet again, Snack. Who's this, Snack? When did you meet such a cute girl? When? Uh, well, I don't know what's going on anymore. What's happening? I didn't say the truth is I, um... Huh? Karen, it's not necessary to ask him anything. Get away from him. But... Say it. Say it. You know who the culprit is, don't you? Who did to Karen? They, uh... Tickled Karen, right? What did you just say? Now I got it. You're Koji, right? The reason you came to our school is to find the person who's using a net about the different girls, correct? Who the heck are you? Journalist of the future, Rika Mazake. In any case, the culprit isn't a student of our school. We thought we were looking for the culprit ourselves. Huh, seems like I guess wrong. I'll look somewhere else, then. You're Snack, right? Next time, you're going down. Snack, sorry about all this. I'm telling Koji to stop worrying about me so much, but... Karen, let's go. Now then, let's meet again sometime. Well, one problem's over. What are you saying? We're not done looking yet. Don't you feel ashamed that you're the one that got in trouble? I don't care anymore. What's done is done. Are you kidding? <laughs> Come to my house right away. I've got a great idea. Here we go again. Yeah, I think at this point, Snek is uh, pretty pretty to the fact that when Irika gets an idea in her head, he's not getting, getting out of it without you know, some collateral damage. I've been waiting for you for a while. It's been like 15 seconds. Give me a break. Rika, what are we gonna do? Try this. This is a skirt. Wow, you even you have a skirt, Irika? Just what do you mean by that? Just what on a skirt walk around town. What? No way! No back talk, wear it. No, you can't that I might get tickled. Okay, okay, just gotta wear this, right? You got a skirt. Looks good on you. Let's go. Hope you find cross-dressing hilarious, because this game sure does. Found a cute girl. Oops. Eek. Why are you coming near me, you stupid metabot? I made a mistake, it's not a cute girl! <laughs> I see Yakadu Sax playing right about now. Where did he go? Did I lose her? Stop right there! Catch me again! 
I said stop. We. What the heck are you doing? Hurry and go after him. Eek. There's a scream coming over that big building over there. Something's happened again. No time to lose. Snack, come quickly, okay? Yeah, alright. Someone forced their way in. I heard it was a long time ago. There's a place used to make metabots. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Erika, what are you doing? To a strange just one, you ran over here. You're an idiot. Another success for the Rubber Robo game! Next time we'll find cuter girls. Oh dear, I seem to be lost again. Where in the world am I this time? Hello, Snack, is that you? You look very nice in this skirt! By the way, what's that over there? This has to only be the mischievous Rubber Robo game. You're behind this, aren't you? Say what? Aha! Look, there's another cute girl. I, you know what that means. Look, I'm gonna let you tickle me. Robo, 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 Robo. Yeah, the Japanese, they were the Robo Robo gang. In the dub, they translated as the Rubber Robos, presumably because of their shiny elastic suits. Honestly, I think both games work just fine. So, this fella here is a melee unit, Lee Foxuno. I think I barely edged him out in speed with of my new legs. The upside is, I know for a fact he has weak armor. Again, I pick thick legs for a good reason. Now we can break his arms off, we should be just willing to go for the kill. Got your lucky punk. Well, do you? <laughs> it's a little hard to do a Clint Eastwood impression when you're wearing a dress. I always wanted to say that line. I'm doomed. Someone's arrived. What? Someone's here. If someone seems like this. I'll die. I better go hide. You found you at last, Trevor Rebel Gang. So, people call me Red Comet. Select Red. Ah, people call me the Blue Meteor. Select Blue, says the Yellow Robot. People call me the Yellow Hanky, says the Metabot that is predominantly blue. Select Yellow. We are the Select Trio. Robo, ow, ow. Ho, ho, like someone's giving you the beating you deserve. How convenient for us. I do so love to take credit for the hard work of others. Think of a way, Select 3. Aye, aye, sir. I mean, he's honest about his lack of enthusiasm. Ooh, are they gone? 
Oh no! I get the feeling someone was here. That was close. It'd be real cool if we one of the Metafires of Justice. Behold, the Metafire of Justice, Neck has arrived. Maybe that's a bit much. This skirt just isn't for me. I'll go back, go back to Irika's house and give her back the skirt. Which I believe that's now an item. Transform goods, really a mini skirt. Why is it that if I use this, I can run away from a fight? Hmm. Okay, that's what it was for. I actually don't use those very often, so I just legit forgot it had a function. But running away is something the rubber robots are good at. Snack, what took you so long? I thought I should get this back. Besides, I don't need my pants back. It's okay, go ahead and change. After all the incident's over, right? I need the skirt back. I don't want it. I'll come and be wearing it again. You can't do that to me. I have no reason to keep this either. Anyway, the members of the select core are pretty cool, aren't they? They just showed up and gave the rubber robot game what was coming to them. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw it all myself. They were taking the rubber robo away somewhere. What were you doing when the select core was busy being the rubber robos? I... that is... Man, you just can't be dependent on, can you? You gotta go back and start writing up the school paper's headline. You can come too if you want, but stay out of my way, okay? Maybe I should go to school too. We're actually almost at the end of the, uh, prologue. Trying to write an article, stay out of the way, is what I want to say. There's much bigger news on the horizon. And a ghost is appearing at Mount Odoro, north of town. I'm lucky I can get a picture. Okay, the look for save the day. Yeah, let's go with that, shall we? Anyway, we have a new destination in mind. Everyone, listen to me! Isn't that Spike's voice? Now what are they up to? In this school, we have had many kids who lost their metabots and metaparts to a ghost at Mount Odoro. So that court ignores us because we're kids and won't help us out. So we have to take matters into our own hands. The time has come for us to take back our stuff from the ghost. What? You don't want to get your stuff back? You're gonna fight with a ghost? Just how do you plan on fighting? Unlicensed nuclear accelerator? I'm almost trying to stay away from Mount Odoro. Losing your meta parts is bad, but going to the mountain is worse. How pitiful are you guys? Just give up, Spike. No matter what you say, they won't understand. Oh, okay, boss. Are you listening? We'll be the only ones going to Mount Odoro. But you do realize that we're taking all the meta parts that we get our hands on, including all of yours, got it? Wow, boss, you really said that well. Now we can take as many meta parts as you want. Sloan just goes along with it, because that's what Sloan does. Hello. Snack, we're going too. I figured I'd have to go. We're not going to lose with the screws. That ghost is definitely going to get caught on film. Okay. Alright then, it's settled. I'll meet the entrance of Mount Adoro. Try not to get lost, okay? We got a town map. Which we really don't need. Maybe he's as forceful as ever. Now let's go back home and prepare for our picnic. If I tell Mom that I'm going to Mount Odoro, I wonder what she might say. That was cool, Snack. Want something to eat? Um, I'm going out. Could you make a lunch? Where are you going? A picnic with Irika. Really? You and Irika on a picnic? No, d just forget what I said. Snack? Just give up on lunch. I should still at least bring something else with me. That's like my pen light. That's what we call traveling light. Hey, Snack, look what Mom made, made your lunch for you. Thanks for bringing it to me, Dad. You got a lunchbox. I got a present for you from Daddy. Only met a Rolly, a brand new tin pet. You got a male tin pet. Take care of yourself, son. Try not to make your mother worry. Thanks a lot, Dad. Thankfully, most of the parts we have are males. Out to Mount Adoro. This is also the game's subtle way of hinting that you can get another companion. Snack and Erika are on a date. He... Yeah, she wishes. Oops. Uh, 
not where I wanted to go this time. I actually wanted to go back here. I always go the wrong way. Anyway, I want to talk to Nay next. The game only hints at it, but... That's Moon, Miss Nay. That's Moon Snack. Check out my cool new meta watch. Well then, I'll just have to give you a present to congratulate you on your new meta bot. Go to the next room next door and select one medal of your choice. Are you sure it's okay? Thank you very much. And now we get to pick one of these six medals, which I told you was not just for fun. But you know what? Let's stop today's episode here. I will allow you guys in the comments section to voice your opinions for which of these medals I should take. For a reminder, there's a bat medal for anti-air parts. We have the Chameleon Metal, which is for hindering enemies' attacks. We have the Rabbit Metal, for speedy parts. I believe it's like a speed melee thing. The Kappa, which is for anti-sea parts. The Mouse Metal, which is for assisting parts. and the Monkey Metal, which is for Confusion Parts. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below, and yeah, we'll see which one I end up getting. So I'll see you guys next time.